Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. This video vertically and the edges of the frame are made using AI. Today I'm going to show you how to manipulate your videos using this new AI feature and how I'm going to be using this feature going forward with Final Cut Pro. Essentially you need four things. A camera, a tripod, and Photoshop Beta, Final Cut Pro. So in a nutshell, what I'm doing is this video vertically like you do for almost any content nowadays. But I'm making this content way more versatile by manipulating the edges using AI. Alright, so when it comes to actually editing this footage, let's take this clip for example. This clip vertically video, and I want a horizontal to put it in this video YouTube footage. So the instructions are kinda long, but they're very, very simple steps. I. First of all, I'll cut Pro open and create a new project name. I am select the 4K video format. Import this footage and drag to timeline to the video. After select the frame, go to share and save current frame. All I do is open up Photoshop beta, take that PNG file that I have and just throw it on my canvas. I get everything centered, make sure it's filling the frame and I select the edges and generative fill does the rest. The great thing about generative fill is you get to select between different options and whatever you want to type in the search bar, it's going to find it and it's going to find pretty convincing moments of it. Now, because we're using this for video and this is not a photo, I want this to be a little bit more convincing so I'm not going to go over the top, I just want to go ahead and fill the edges of my frame. After I have a solid foundation to work with, this is where the most important piece comes in because I'm going to just soft edge, erase the image in the middle. What you're doing here is you're just punching a hole in the canvas, that way you can overlay this photo on top of the video footage. So I recommend getting a soft edge brush, erasing out the initial layer that I imported in and you can be sure that you're erasing like through to the background. It's to note about these little squares in Photoshop, it's really, really neat. It just shows that, hey, your canvas is now transparent and there's a hole in it. And now you want to export this photo with the hole in it. So we export it as a PNG. PNGs are exceptionally versatile and PNGs are going to allow me to export the rest of the frame. Has a hole punch in it and I take that hole punch picture and I take it back into the Final Cut Pro. And then drag the photo on top of that and it should look like this. The amount of things that you can do with this feature, it's like limitless because the more you start to understand your camera angle, the lighting and the things that you can do, you can make your footage a lot more immersive, but for simplicity, you can just go out, shoot, screenshot and just keep going. So I'm using this right now to convert anything that's horizontal into vertical, which is super helpful for somebody who needs to post on multiple platforms. But what you can do is you can literally use it to your mind's extent and get really, really creative. That's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel.